to today's live video. It's launch day in the UK. Hurrah! Worlds of Wonder is finally out in the world in the UK and the US. So I'm back at home today. I had to pick uh, the kids up from school a bit earlier. So I just thought we'd come back and do it from here. So hello, how are you? Thank you to everyone who has got their copy of the book so far. This is um, the US edition, which I shouldn't be showing you today. I should have a UK copy, but I don't have one. I'm so delighted. There's been so many amazing messages, people snapping pictures on their desk saying, I'm gonna sneak a wee tea break and do some coloring. Just, I don't, I don't think we've ever had a response like this to a new book. I don't know if it's because she's really liked the book or if it's just because it has come at the perfect moment in time when we're all just needing a wee bit of an escape and a holiday and a vacation and an adventure and Worlds of Wonder has come along and just met that need, so to speak. So whichever of the two, I'm delighted. It's just been the most wonderful, wonderful day. Denise says, I got my book half an hour ago. <laughs> so excited. To everyone who is constantly tracking their Amazon parcels and <laughs> checking delivery notes, I hope you had a nice piece of Happy Meal today or that you don't have too much longer to wait. So, so and for those of you who aren't in the UK and the US and, ha and do have a bit longer to wait, I promise the wait will be worth it. So today we are gonna color, um, we're gonna prep actually. I'm gonna just notice there's a really big gap here. Do we usually have something here? Maybe we usually have a plant or something. I'll just, I'll just hold this here for the entire time entire time and pretend I'm on the news and it's like a thing in the background. Um, we're gonna colour a page, this one here. These uh, fish above the underwater village. I'm not sure um, if these are giant fish or a tiny underwater village or maybe the village is just quite far away and the fish are a bit closer and it's a trick of perspective. It's up to you to decide. There was someone else I'd seen that had posted a picture of the owl that's sitting on a house and said, is this a, t oh no, it was this page, sorry. I mean, I think we maybe need to do some sort of poll, but is that a massive house or a tiny, no, is that a massive bird or a tiny house? Who knows? <laughs> Okay, let's do this. I have another call at 4.30 today. We've got some press things coming up later today, including, oh God, I'm gonna, we're meant to be doing some live TV tonight at like, so it'll just be in Scotland, I think, at about quarter to 10. And um, I just know somebody's gonna get out of bed and be like, mom, <laughs> I need a drink of water. Mom, I can't find my rabbit. We're like, oh. Anyway, let's hope we don't embarrass ourselves. I'm gonna color that page from Worlds of Wonder and I'm gonna use Castle Arts pencils. Oh, <laughs> just tip them everywhere. So when I sent out the advanced copies of Worlds of Wonder, Castle Arts really kindly gave me um, some sets of their botanic um, pencils. So I don't think, and I will check, that the botanic pencils are any different to the regular ones. It's just, it's a curated colour selection. So they are a beautiful little set, really good for doing botanicals and flowers. If you've bought World of Flowers or Worlds of Wonder, they just work really nicely. Um, and then the bigger set, that one, has just got a wider range of colours. So let's get going. I will flip our camera. Oh, now I always forget that this tripod is a wee bit further away. I think I um I move around the setup at home. So we're going to colour this page here. And I'll show you again. So you've got the right way around. It's these pencils. Look what happened when I <laughs> tipped them up to show you. There's actually... I think there's three layers in these pencils. Yeah, there is. Three layers like that. It's like the box of chocolates. It just keeps on going. So it's the fish that I'm concentrating on today up here. <laughs> People's books just arriving. So exciting! Uh, now I'm gonna do my fish different shades of turquoisey blue. And you might be like, oh come on, that's really obvious. But the reason being I'm at a later date. Oh, I don't have a pencil sharpener up here. This could be problematic. I'm gonna do another tutorial with gel pens, glitter gel pens, probably. 
and look at how you add detail and a bit of shimmer over the top. So the pencil is actually just gonna be the base layer. Let's do this front fish, the front fish. I'm gonna zoom in a wee touch. There we go. So I'm gonna work left to right because I am right-handed and I don't want to smear my hand over this coloring. Obviously, if you are left-handed, do the opposite. That's what I do when I'm drawing. I tend to not put my hand over wet ink or loads of graphite just because it gets super smudgy. I really would like to sharpen these pencils. Let me see if I've got a... Hold on, folks. pencil sharpeners <laughs> have gone a, a miss. I suspect they are in two small girls pencil cases, which is what happens to anything that I leave at home in the studio here. People sometimes ask me, why did you stop working from your studio home and get, you know, a, a studio in a business centre? Mainly because my children kept stealing all my art supplies. <laughs> I think... If you were six and four and quite liked arts and crafts and your mum was me and you knew there was a room in your house where there was basically every kind of pencil you could dream of at that age, gel pens, glitter gel pens, paint markers, sketchbooks, huge bits of paper, coloured paper, paint, <laughs> I think you would um, read it as well. So I can't, I can't really be mad at them. Right, these pencils are a delight. They are really highly pigmented. They lay down super easily. I would like them to be a little bit sharper. That's completely my fault. I don't have a pencil sharpener on me. And they just blend beautifully. So if you saw the blending video yesterday, you basically don't need to do any of those blending techniques with these pencils because they are just so unctuous and smooshy that the pencil and pencil layers beautifully. I mean, you could go for a bit of a blending medium and, as well, but you don't need it. So I've just pushed hard around his wee nose. Mia said to me at bedtime last night, Mum, do fish have ears? I was like, mm, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't really know. Um, I also don't think they have noses, but this bit here, the mouth. The night before she said to me, Mum, do you still make spit when you're dead? It's just like the most insightful conversations that I have with Mia at bedtime. So I'm pushing hard towards his face here and easing off on the pressure towards the gills. Let me try and zoom in a touch more just so you can see. Now, I'm gonna do some bits fully saturated with color so you're not gonna see any of the white paper. And in other places, I'll leave a bit of the grain of the paper, the tooth shining through. So for example, here where you can see the white paper, that's when you can um, see a bit of the paper grain. Here as well, actually, this isn't fully saturated yet. This is more. People sometimes ask me what burnished means when you burnish your colouring pencils. It's basically when you flatten all the colouring pencil into the little rough surface of the paper so you see absolutely no white. It tends to go a wee bit shiny when it's like that. The colour is really flat and you can't add any more colours over the top. It sort of puts a gloss on it which just makes it, I guess it's like a, like a seal. It just holds everything in and it stops you being able to add any more colours over the top. Great for waxy apples, shiny pumpkins, gems. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. What else would you need to be shiny? The coat of some cats, I guess. <laughs> right, I feel this could go a bit haywire if I use too many different shades of blue. So I'm going to try and Stick to just the ones I had out already. So the idea is we're laying down the background colour and then I'm going to use the gel pens, not today, another day, over the top to add some details. 
I don't like using gel. Oh, look at that. Totally gone over the line. I don't like using gel pens for the whole of the colouring page. Some people do and love it and love that really bold effect. It's a carriage door downstairs. Um, I find my ink just goes through to the page below. I just, I'm really bad at not pushing hard. Also, I like the variation of using pencils and being able to have dark to light and all those things. So for me, I use a gel pen as a, a polisher, a finisher. It's a tool for accessorizing and embellishing as opposed to coloring. I'm just randomly gonna color these scales. I don't know if we should have a shoal of blue fish or like a blue fish, a pink fish, a purple fish. To be honest, I'm only gonna have time to do one today, so it's not something we need to concern ourselves with today, but it's definitely something to think about. And I'm leaving that little white halo on the very tip, on the curve of the scale, just to allow it to look like it's shining. Let's do this one up here. I'm actually going to make them a bit darker around this sort of belly here as well, so he looks a bit rounded. <laughs> Catherine says, I'm so excited my package is four stops away. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you're um, waiting for your exam results. I feel really bad now that teenagers have, get all their exam results online. When I was at school, I sound really old saying that, you got a letter in the post and you literally had to stand, look out the window and pray that the postie came, you know, on time and wasn't massively delayed and you got your exam results in a letter, in an envelope and you you ran out to meet the postie in your pyjamas and got the letter from him or her. Uh, but yeah, I love, the, I love the idea of all these um, <laughs> Amazon and delivery people being met by really excited colorists, possibly with some pencils in their hands already. Just, yeah, yep, yeah, sign, not even the sign, just take it, I'll have it, thank you. Oh, someone's tracker's not working. Oh dear. I think if you can't track your parcel, you just have to sit back, let the universe take care of things and know that it is on its way. It's so sunny here today, but not massively warm. Um, but it's really nice and bright. I love that we've got enough natural light at this time of day now that I can do a live from the house. Remember when we first started doing the lives again after Christmas and I had to do them from the studio because there was just no light. There was so dark at that time of day um, back in January. So it's a good sign that we're getting to the bright summer's days. Although we are due to have snow here next week. So we'll wait and see how that pans out. That's quite typically Scottish, by the way, to have sunshine one week or one day or one hour even <laughs> and then and then a uh, snow the next so these castle arts pencils i get mine direct from castle arts <coughs> excuse me on their website um, but you can get them on Amazon as well. They are a UK company. I believe these are wax-based pencils, only because they're not that expensive. I, I feel that like oil-based pencils are more expensive than wax-based ones, but these ones are definitely in the same sort of price bracket as Arteza's and Black Widow's. Um, very affordable, very nice pencils. 
like just so pigmented. You know how sometimes you use a colouring pencil and they're quite hard and even though you're pushing very hard, you're not getting that much colour from them. It's quite a subtle, light kind of colouring pencil. These are very pigmented. You get a good amount of colour with each stroke. <coughs> so sorry, can't stop coughing. Um, all my favourite types of pencils, Lynn says. Yeah. Right, I'm going to do the fins. Hmm. I think in the, like, greeny... I'll do them in the greeny blue, the turquoise, and then layer a bit of blue over the top. The pencil sharpener that I do have up here is that Statler one with the, the rotary sharpener that attaches, it clamps to your desk, you know the type, and you put the pencil in and turn the handle, you crank the handle and it sharpens the pencil. Well, the last time I was up here, not today, I was looking at the desk that that's on and the handle was just sitting beside the pencil sharpener on the desk, detached. So, like, so somebody had obviously come upstairs <laughs> Thought they would sharpen a pencil, broke it, and then thought, oh no, what will I do? Tried to put the handle back in and realised that they couldn't, because I tried as well, and then just very quietly put the handle on the desk beside the broken sharpener, back to way out the room and didn't mention it. So I'd gone downstairs and said, guys, just wondering, has anyone been in mum's studio upstairs? And um use the pencil sharpener. No, mum, no, not us. Why? What's happened to it? Is everything okay? So there was, no witnesses came forward. Nobody made any confessions. I just left it. <laughs> Maybe that's not the best parenting strategy, but I just say you've got to pick your battles. But that has now meant that there's no pencil sharpener up here. Oh, so sorry. Out of shot, completely out of shot for ages. There you go. So there is our finished fish. I think he needs a bit more blue in these fins under here. So I'm just gonna lay it over. And he's got the we've got the eye to do as well. I'm not sure about that eye. So I'm not doing anything too fancy. And there's a few illustrations in the book like this where you have got these larger shapes. That's um, intentional. So you can either just fill those with colour, like I'm doing, or you can grab your pen or pencil, add a few details. If you've done the How to Draw Inky Wonderlands book, you'll know yourself how to add details and patterns and just more intricacies, intricacies <laughs> to the illustrations. Or you can do what we're gonna do here. So that means you fill the shapes just with some basic colours, think of this as the base coat, and then we are going to use the gel pens. I'm not sure which ones yet. I'm thinking we'll probably use the Arteza gel pens um, and just layer some details over the top to get a really beautiful shimmer and some extra layers of detail. Oh, they just, it's like using a blending pencil but just colouring. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And Brenda says, my book has been sitting at the delivery facility for two days now. I don't understand why they're not putting it in the truck. Oh, we get that a lot. I'll often see something has it's sort of reached the dispatch centre. I'm like, well, keep going then. <laughs> You've come so far, don't stop there. There may be just a few delivery drivers down or something. You never know. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I'm wondering what colour to do the eye. I think we will do it bright green. And I'm going to leave that wee highlight light. Okay, what time are we at? 20 past. Mm. We are, I am really, really short in time today, so I don't want to overrun. We'll maybe leave that there for today. Um, and then I'm just seeing if there's like one that we could do that's a little bit more, maybe a 
I'll just, we'll start this one. As long as we stop at 25 past, we'll be okay for me to sum up and everything. Um, let's, let's keep it as a big shoal of fish. They're all gonna have the same green eyes, so I'll do this. We're gonna do them the shoal all in the blues. So we'll do a limited palette of, I've got five shades of blue. By the way, <laughs> I don't often watch back the videos because uh, it's just so short in time. But for some reason, I watched a wee bit of, um, did I mention this the other day? Did I mention this yesterday? Which, on Monday's video, when I was going, I'm using four, four pencils, count them, one, two, three, four, and I had five in my hand, like just a complete and utter chump. Now every time I go to say, Count them, look at those number of pencils. I'll need to double guess myself. Muppet. Oh gosh, and now my computer is trying to do something with antivirus software. Oh, somebody, Brittany's got three copies of Worlds of Wonder. Bless you. That's thrice the fun. So another thing that I was going to mention today um, that I uh, posted about on Instagram was hopefully from next week, we'll need to wait and see when the books arrive, but um, we've got a lovely retailer called Indian Well. She's a local, so it's run by a lady called Fiona, who's local to me here up in Aberdeenshire, and she has this beautiful little shop and they are going to be selling uh, Worlds of Wonder, but the nice bit is we're going to go in and I'm going to sign all the copies that she's got. So if you want a signed copy of Worlds of Wonder, sit tight. Fiona uh, at Indian Will, I'll put a link to this to them at the end of this video. She's going to have signed copies for sale. Just a limited number. So we've not got loads and loads and they are being shipped from the UK. I don't know what she's doing about international shipping. Um, but it's really nice to have one retailer who is going to have the signed books because it's something I get asked to do a lot and the honest truth is A, I'm not allowed to sell the books direct, it has to go through retailers or the publishers and then B, we just, I just don't have the capabilities, the logistics, the setup to sign books for people or to do um, personal messages and all those kind of things just because we get I guess asked so many times for it and it's just I mean we can do them for the launch books but after that it just gets really tricky so to get around that because unless you're doing a live event I think it's just I don't know how people do it I don't know if maybe people have massive teams and that's how it's possible but I'm going to go in to Fiona's shop when she gets all her stock, sign every single last book that she has, and then she's going to um, sell them. So if you're after a signed copy, that is where to get it. I'll just be doing um, my little inscriptions on the on the title page. Well, not the title page, the This Book Belongs To page. And you can get um, a personalized, well, not personalized, sorry, a signed copy of World's Wonder. And then I feel like I had something else to tell you. Book launch tour starts next week. Uh, I'll be putting out the emails the night before, five o'clock the night before, every night of the book tour, you will get an email with what we're doing the next day, things you might need, where we're going, what we're colouring, what we'll be using. Um, think of it as like your itinerary for your trip. And that kicks off on Monday. Right, that's 25 past and I've just finished all this colour, so it feels like a good time to pause. Have I missed any bits? No. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera after I do this because I always think, especially in the light in here, colouring looks different with the other camera when you see it front on. So here is the picture. Do you think the colours look different? Maybe not. So I will, this is so pretty. I'm gonna colour um, possibly the whole shawl, maybe. Um, and then in another video, we will add gel,
pen glitter details not scented imagine i was actually thinking that this morning imagine you got you know how castle arts have done a set of botanical pencils and i knew we were going to do this tutorial today imagine you got a set of scented gel pens that went with lost ocean so they would basically smell of fish <laughs> and sea salt and uh, coral does coral have a smell i mean mainly i was just thinking of like sea air and fish i'm not sure it'd be a good seller maybe that's a good um april fool's joke for next year if i remember scented gel pens especially for coloring fish <laughs> right thank you so much for joining me today for the live video i hope you um had some fun these castle arts pencils are lovely 72 set i feel they're like i don't feel they're much 40 pounds i mean that is a lot obviously but they're like for 72 faber castells i feel you would be like hundreds so um that is a they are a great option and a really good pencil highly recommend them go and have a look at their website uh, the botanic sets are the ones that you'll have seen lots of colorists get with their advanced copies of the book but that 72 set i just got i actually think i got them from amazon because that was the first set of castle pencils that i got last year and uh, now i know to just get them direct from the website it seems to come through quicker and a little bit cheaper right enjoy your day everyone have a lovely easter weekend yes yeah, thursday have a lovely easter weekend i'll see you back here on monday for the first day of the worlds of wonder a uh, live tour Woo sounds like sounds so rockstar doesn't it remember go and get your book uh, i checked last night those links are working for the worlds of wonder a uh, secret society of curious colorists so if you're having some trouble definitely try clearing your cache try a different device do all those tech things um but it is working from my end thanks so much everyone it's been a really exciting week i can't believe worlds of wonder is finally out in the wild it's like it's like when you work on something for so long and the lead up is just forever and then it finally happens it's just so exciting right thank you so much for joining me i'll see you back here on monday have a great weekend bye bye oh, i can never press the button hold on